If you listen to AM radio in the morning, you know this voice. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Barbara Carlson and Friends Show. This is Open Mic. Yes, of course, that's Barbara Carlson, KSTP AM 1500's well-known radio uh, talk show personality uh, doing her show on the radio. And she's not doing it from the studio. No, she's doing it from her home. Big deal, you say? That happens all the time? Well, not exactly, because she's not in her house. She's actually in her hot tub. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to the water. We're back again in the hot tub of Kenwood. I had hoped and while she's actually conducting a radio show from her hot tub inside the gazebo, outside, her dog acts like there's nothing unusual going on in there. But there is. So unusual, it merited a brief moment on national television. They say talk is cheap, but for America's radio DJs, it can be very, very profitable. That's why the show is a current affair, and the story is about risque radio personalities. Our Barbara? Risque? Well, maybe she was included because visually, you gotta admit, this looks pretty risque especially considering her ex-husband's current occupation. When it comes to being in hot water, Randy has nothing on Minnesota talk show host Barbara Carlson, who once a week puts her guest on the hot seat, so to speak, much to the chagrin of her ex-husband, who just happens to be Governor Arnie Carlson of Minnesota. Can you imagine your ex-wife having a talk show? Can you imagine in your worst nightmare? Well, that was it. 22 seconds of national TV exposure, and the next day she was the talk of the town. In fact, her colleague, KSTP no, talk host Bob Yates, even chatted with no, her a bit on the I mean, air during I his show. I considered that last night nationwide pub. <laughs> a kind of clarion call to any eligible governor out there to marry you again, <laughs> and again divorce you again, and, again, and you could go from state to state. <laughs> <laughs> with this uh, scam. You're on a diet. Scam? Well, you know what Give I mean. Me gimmick. We all have our gimmick. Well, scams gimmick? and gimmicks. You, say, do you, do you mean, do you know that... Oh, a I... hot tub has to do with substance. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, there is a lot of substance that often comes out of this steamy room. But today, first, it's a little fun with comic Susan Voss. But even then, Barbara couldn't get a current affair off her mind, so she calls up its host... Maureen O'Boyle, for a little conversation. On your show last night. I know, and well, everyone loved it. Well, let me tell you, it. Maureen, I was a little concerned because everyone? I'm a mature woman in Minnesota, and I do a show with serious issues. I really do. I've only been naughty, oh, five times, maybe. Well, naughty or nice, her hot tub shows have become such an item that I thought I'd better come here personally to check it out. And I had no idea of just how tough it was going to be to get this story. Yes, but it's okay, a um, thanks very much. It's a radio show. It's the Barbara Carlson radio show being conducted. He's right on top of my show. Make him stop. I am a star here. Just can continue on being a star. No, don't go over to the other side. Barbara, what? He's he's doing his business. Is he doing his he's business? He's doing his business. This is how this man this makes his living. I'm doing he business. talks and he disturbs radio programs. You know, it's all right. That's why we like Jerry Lumpkin. Here and, uh, <laughs> close the window. We're not closing any window. You, you're, the viewers want to talk to you. The listeners want to talk to you. Susan's not hitting me on the hand. Barbara's I want saying, you to see on see your body. I was That's giving what, you we're five. Gonna, we're going to show you. We're going to show you five. That's what I want. No t-shirts. Boobs and tummy and buns and everything. No t-shirt. We're going to take a break. We're going to talk about power drinks. I've got Rusty in my hot This is going to be difficult. Entire good it's going out of control already. It's out of control. So out of control that instead of her being part of my story, I became part of her show. My God, look at him. Look at him. Yay. Gary Lumpkin is coming into my... Is your wash waterproof? Don't fall. Okay. Welcome. Yep, and with that, I was in the tub. So, of course... We had to discuss the hot tub itself. Now, we're telling the truth now. You, you've been saying you're in your hot tub, and, to, and until just now, you were on the edge well, of your I hot tub. Hot. It's, it's 104 degrees. And we were in the truth room. is, the truth is She's that. Got high uh, blood pressure, it, and I take medicine yes, for it. Before you we got in here, right on your show, <laughs> it's my show. Well, now it was really out of control. Susan was talking, Barbara was talking, I'm talking, we're all talking, and somehow, then we all started singing, singing "Kumbaya." And that's how I ended my story 
and Barbara was ending her show again all at the same time. Kumbaya. Well, there you have it. Barbara Carlson in the radio, in the hot tub, on the radio. I'm confused. Kumbaya. You got a little illness. See you next time as I close my story for good company on your radio show. That's all right. How Ladies and gentlemen, Kumbaya. this is Barbara Carlson. I'm glad that you listened this last hour. It's been a little crazy, you know, I normally...